Welcome to Phosphocyte Plus, a bioinformatics resource developed and maintained by scientists at Cell Signaling Technology with grants from the National Institutes of Health. Phosphocyte Plus, Phosphocyte for short, can provide a powerful adjunct to your research into the structures and functions of protein modifications in health and disease. This tutorial is divided into three sections. The first section provides an overview of the structure and content of phosphocyte. The second section describes how to perform simple searches for a protein or substrates of specific protein kinases. The third section describes how to use the powerful advanced search and browse interfaces. We hope that this tutorial will help you use phosphocyte effectively in your research. Section 1 Overview Phosphocyte is a systems biology resource that continuously aggregates information about experimentally verified protein modification sites determined using both low-throughput and high-throughput technologies. As of 2010, information has been manually curated from over 11,000 literature publications and thousands of previously unpublished mass spectrometry experiments, mostly performed at CellSingling Technology. Powerful analytical tools for investigating the structural and biological significance of protein modifications, both at single site and at proteome wide levels, are included. Close links to scan site provide predictions about kinases that may phosphorylate and binding proteins that may interact with phosphorylation sites. Phosphocyte encompasses a range of commonly studied post translational modifications, including phosphorylation, acetylation, methylation, ubiquitination, O-linked glycosylation, and others. Real-time site statistics about the various modification sites are provided in this section. Advanced search capabilities allow users to launch complex queries. For example, one can find modification sites that are regulated by specific treatments and are expressed in specific cell types, diseases, or cellular compartments. Combinatorial searches are uniquely powerful and will be featured later in this tutorial. Users can also browse and sort high-throughput mass spec data by disease, tissue, or cell line. The What's New section provides highlights of new features in Phosphocyte. Files, exports, and applications are available from the bottom section. These include modification site datasets, pathway exports in BioPax format, a Cytoscape plugin, and sequence logo generators. The basic workflow for using the site is similar to the original version. Users begin on the home page where one can launch a simple search for a modified protein or for the substrates of a specific kinase. A results page lists names of the proteins or kinases that match the search criteria. Kinase searches lead users to lists of specific proteins and their sequences that have been phosphorylated either in vivo or in vitro by the selected kinase. Sequence logos represent the favored and disfavored amino acids at each position flanking the modified residue on either side. Upon selecting a protein, users are taken to a protein page that summarizes information about its post-translational modifications, protein function, structure, domain organization, and modification sites. Clicking on a specific site takes users to an individual site page that presents a summary of curated information about that site in the literature and a bibliography for all site-specific references. The curated info page presents specific information reported in a single reference about a single site. It presents the most granular information in Phosphocyte, including experimental details and the biological importance and regulation of a single site. As noted earlier, the advanced search interfaces give users unprecedented power to launch biologically meaningful queries and the browse interfaces are used to mine high-throughput mass spec experiments curated from the literature or directly from experiments performed at cell signaling technology and other labs. Informational pages describe various features of the site, the curation process, and how to use the site. During the course of the tutorial, you are free to use the navigational menu to jump to a section of interest. Section 2. Simple Searches the simplest way to use Phosphocyte is to enter the name of a protein in the Protein Search field. This search returns a list of all proteins in the database whose name or alternate name contains the search term. Users can also search for substrates of a specific kinase 
by entering the kinase name in the substrate search field. This search retrieves a list of kinases that match the search term and that have known substrates. Choosing a kinase from the list generates a substrate page where users can download the results and view a sequence logo, a graphical representation of the frequency of amino acids flanking the modified residue. For convenience and comparison, users can create and save multiple sequence logos on the same screen. Once a protein has been selected, users are taken to a protein page that contains four main sections. The overview section includes a brief description of the protein, protein types, go terms, pathways, alternate names, accession numbers, links to antibodies against native proteins from cell signaling technology, and links to other useful online resources. By clicking on pathways, users can download cell signaling pathway diagrams or lists of pathway proteins and modification sites shown to be regulated in specific phosphocyte pathways. Molecular visualization of color-coded modification sites using the Aztex viewer lets users assess structural proximity of modified sites. Comparison with the sites and domain section allows users to visualize relative position of modified sites to each other and to protein domains. The Biological Regulation section lists modification sites known to regulate various molecular or biological processes such as enzymatic activation, cell motility, or subcellular localization. This section also includes links to the related modification site pages. The Sites and Domains section illustrates the location of modification sites relative to the domains of the protein. A user can filter sites by type and number of references, as well as zoom down to view the amino acid sequence of the protein. All residues known to be post-translationally modified are represented by lowercase letters. Clicking on a domain will link to relevant information in PFAM. The Parent Protein, Ortholog, and Isoform section lists modification site sequences in which the named modified residue is centrally located flanked by seven amino acids on either side. The labels for residues that have associated records are red, followed by a suffix indicating the type of modification, and are linked to a modification site page. Residues that are known to be modified and lying within the flanking sequence are displayed in lowercase letters. Orthologous sites from other species are displayed, allowing users to quickly determine if the modified residue is conserved between different species. The two columns to the left of the sequence columns list the total number of references across all listed species in which sites were characterized using low-throughput or high-throughput methods. The numbers of high-throughput references shown here is limited to 25. Low-throughput techniques are generally more reliable than high-throughput. Clicking on a modified site will take users to an individual site page. The Site Information section, in addition to providing the sequence surrounding the modification site, provides powerful tools for querying the sequence. ScanSite predicts likely sites for protein phosphorylation by particular kinases or for interaction with other signaling proteins, using algorithms derived from patterns of in vitro reactivities. The BLAST program finds similar sequences in other sequence and structural databases. In cases where the site has been characterized by mass spectrometry at cell signaling technology, representative peptide spectra can be viewed using PLOT MSMS, a spectrum viewer developed at the Institute for Systems Biology. The in vivo characterization section lists the experimental methods and biological samples used to investigate the site. Both the upstream and downstream regulation sections provide information about the site in the context of cell signaling pathways. Finally, a list of references that can either lead users to PubMed abstracts or curated information is provided at the bottom of the page. The number of high-throughput references shown here is limited to the 25 earliest reports curated into Phosphocyte. On the curated information page, a user can learn about characterization, upstream and downstream regulation, as well as view comments provided by curators. Treatments shown to alter the modification state of the sites are summarized in tabular format.
To learn more details about the curation process, go to the gray tabbed link called Curation Process in the upper right-hand corner of the website. Section 3, Advanced Features. The most powerful aspects of Phosphocyte are found in the advanced search and browse interfaces consisting of three search interfaces and three browse interfaces. Protein Sequence or Reference Search. The Protein Search section on the Protein Sequence or Reference Search interface gives users great flexibility in searching for specific proteins. Users can search by one or multiple parameters, including protein name or accession number, protein type, cellular component, protein domain, molecular weight range, or amino acid sequence. Four parameters accept free text. The others require selecting from curated search terms. To search from curated search terms, users must click on a select button and begin typing letters in the search field. This reduces the available terms shown in the search window. When the intended search term is found, it is added to a search box. Sequence or motif searches in the protein search window are used to identify all proteins in phosphocyte containing the specified sequence. Users enter a string of residues or a motif using the search syntax from the Scan ProSite tool from the Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics. Combining a sequence search with a molecular weight range will return a list of all proteins in phosphocyte that contain the motif within the molecular weight range. The combination of motif plus molecular weight range is a useful tool when doing site discovery using motif-specific antibodies. Searches launched from the Sequence Search section find and list all occurrences of the sequence even if found multiple times within the same protein. Searches launched from this window return a list of all matching sequences in phosphocyte plus the flanking residues. All residues known to be modified are highlighted in red and indicated in lowercase letters. Results can also be downloaded in tab-delimited text format for further bioinformatics analysis. Searching for sequences within specific domains allows users to quickly determine if potential regulatory sites are common features of specific domains. The bulk sequence search allows users to submit long lists of peptide sequences to determine if they contain previously identified modification sites. Search results downloaded onto the user's desktop list all matching sequences in phosphocyte. Modified residue numbers are listed in column 6 and are indicated by lowercase letters in the matching sequences shown in column 2. This functionality may be of special value to mass spectrometrists. The Reference Search section allows users to search for references about specific proteins that correspond to PubMed ID numbers and those written by specific authors. Site Search Interfaces The Site Search Interfaces use many of the same search strategies as in previous sections, but allow users to quickly retrieve and globally analyze the sorts of modification sites found within restricted subsets of proteins or biological samples. The tools described here can assist users to quickly develop testable hypotheses about the sorts of kinases or other enzymes that may be active in specific biological samples, or on proteins in specific subcellular locations or metabolic pathways, or to help identify residues that may regulate specific biological responses. The search results always return the central residue and the surrounding 14 amino acids if available. As an example, the user may want to investigate the protein modifications that are downstream of insulin treatment. The sequence logos of the tyrosine and serine threonine sites that are responsive to insulin, visualized using the sequence logo tool, are consistent with the known substrate profiles of insulin receptor and of AGC and CMGC kinases downstream of the insulin receptor. Using these tools in a systematic way to analyze less well-characterized responses can provide important clues about the kinases and substrates that may be involved in regulating important biological responses.
The sequence or motif search in this interface requires that a sequence of 15 amino acids be entered, using the syntax described in the Help section. The suggested use is to place a potential modification site in the central position. This tool can be used to investigate potential amino acid bias at all positions surrounding modification sites. For example, in the case shown here, there are subsets of sequences with significant biases for serine at minus 2 and proline at plus 1. Comparative site searches expand the available search logic to include sites that possess specified attributes but excluding others. Browse interfaces. Browsing interfaces, accessible from the home page, permit viewing and downloading information about sites curated from mass spec records. The information can be organized by disease, cell line, or tissue. Clicking on one of the three categories opens a page showing the available selections within each category. Opening the Browse by Disease interface lists the number of diseases or disease models with associated information in phosphocyte and the number of records reporting phosphorylation or other modification types. Clicking on the number of records curated for a disease for example, acute myelogenous leukemia with modification type phosphorylation opens a page listing each curated record associated with the disease and selected modification type, and the biological samples and treatments that were reported in the record. Select the records of interest. In the example shown, the four selected records report about one cell line, EOL1. Two of the datasets are from cells treated with the tyrosine kinase inhibitor, imatinib. Clicking on Details opens a page listing the sites reported in the selected records. The results from all records derived from the same biological sample, tissue or cell line, are combined into one column. Clicking on Expand by Reference generates one column for each record from the same type of biological sample. In the case shown, the results from the treated samples are now separated from the untreated samples. The results shown can be explored directly from the web page. For example, individual protein pages can be opened by clicking on a protein name. The results can also be downloaded in bulk as a tab-delimited text file by clicking on the Download button. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please direct any further questions or comments to Editor Phosphocyte at Cell.